everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited because I have Kristen Noel Crawley with me. I've been a fan of hers for years, following religiously. So <laughs> the fact that you're here today is so exciting for me. And I got to do her makeup. She trusted me with the beat today. We just did a fun little glitter wing moment and really dive into who she is and all the rad things she's doing. Tell everyone a little bit like about what you do. I have a beauty brand, it's called KNC Beauty. We started with an all natural lip mask. It was inspired after a trip to Tokyo. And then we came out with the shooting star eye patches. That's why I love Hourglass because we have like a similar kind of brand ethos, which is like good for you and good for animals and yeah, all that good stuff. Free. Yes. So I'm just going in with some vanish. I'm kinda just doing it in areas I feel like we need the coverage. Your skin's quite incredible. Thank so you. we chill in there. We are all our worst enemy, aren't we? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm like looking at yours like, mm, we don't really even need anything. <laughs> and I want your freckles to still shine through, so. Well, I love how like everyone's imperfections are being embraced. Yeah. What are some of your like favorite Hourglass products that you like using? Oh my gosh, I love all of them. They're so, <laughs> good like, answer, no, good seriously. <laughs> they're so luxurious. What, what I really love about it, especially like the foundation, is that it doesn't break out my skin. Yeah. You know, Same, so you can I tell that, that it's like really good ingredients and high quality. I've actually slept in it before, <laughs> not not intentionally, of but like the next day I was, my skin was fine, you know, <laughs> which is so rare. When I like how lightweight it feels too, even if you mm -hmm. are doing a full coverage mm -hmm. foundation, you don't feel the weight of it on your skin. And I think that's really important. I especially love the, um, the lip colors, the lipsticks. What's the name of it? was like the slim one. The confession ultra yes. slim. Yes. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of handbag, I wanted to talk a little bit about like your style and fashion. Mm -hmm. That's kind of one of the things that drew me towards you is how you blend like street style with high fashion so seamlessly. Have you always been into fashion? Did you think you would do that like as a career at some point? Like how did you become obsessed with um, I've always been into fashion and style. Okay. When I was a teenager, I, I never thought that it was something I could do. Yeah. Because it just wasn't really accessible to me. I was, I'm from a small town Where in Illinois. From? It was a town of like 100,000 people. And so it just wasn't really like a thing. Like we used to have to, when we would go to St. Louis is when I would buy the Vogue magazine. Like I think 17 was like the closest thing I could get <laughs> to like a fashion magazine in my hometown. When I have on a, a, a nice outfit, not even like a dressy outfit or like, right. you know, something that I think is cool, like I feel better about myself. So it's like, it really- It's a confidence Yeah, booster. exactly. So that makes me feel like, better than someone saying like, oh, you're so pretty, or like, yeah, you know, like, like, now that like oh, you have a fresh fit, like, thank you so much, <laughs> you know? Well, even today you're like casual, but it's cute, and it's all these little pieces you put together that just make it. Yeah, so like when I really it. dress, like this is like a Turn really dressed me. down look for me, which which is what I usually do like every day. <laughs> which is like pants <laughs> and a t-shirt, but I'll dress it up with jewelry. Right. You know, so it's like I'll have like my nice watch on or like a cool necklace and that kind of elevates the look a right. little bit and you know, like a cool handbag. So if I'm at fashion week or something like that, it's, it, you know, it kind of depends on your audience. Your fashion week looks are <laughs> like I look forward <laughs> to them every you time. So Your look in Paris with the uh, medicine like LV mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I died. I sent it to everyone I, I knew. That was my best look. And I swear after you posted that, I started seeing them pop up everywhere. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I did, you know, I set trends. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Truly I was in the, though. I was in the showroom and it was, it was Virgil's second show. And I was in the showroom and I saw the mask and I was like, oh my God, I have to have this. So like, let me just, let me just like get it for the show, you know? And so I had that one and I had like a, a lime green one and I almost didn't wear the mask because I was like, oh, I kind of want to wear sunglasses because I'm tired and like, you know, I don't really like feel like up to it today. But my husband that was, like, been a he was major like, you mistake. need to wear the mask. Had, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you need to wear the mask. It was, was like, legendary. Okay. I was like, okay. But it was also like a mint mask. So it was too big. So literally like, and did you have to like pin it show, or how did you... I'm like sewing <laughs> the string trying to get it. <laughs> like you just Don't never know what's me. going on behind the scenes. No, you don't. Um, 
I feel like anytime we do stuff too, I'm like, it always comes out perfect. Right. You know, there's always yeah, that situation no on the way there. there. <laughs> but yeah, what I was saying is that with fashion, for me, it's like all about the audience. Um, obviously, at Paris Fashion Week, I'm going to turn it up. You know, yeah, of like course. a thousand percent. Absolutely. Um, if I'm just like around the house, like I'm wearing, you know, something like this usually, or, you know, running errands or something. Um, nighttime i'll do a little more dressy yeah. and you know put on some heels an occasion and stuff. yeah it just it just depends but i think that's true style to me is mm -hmm. when even you're kicking it around the house with your kids mm -hmm. there's still this element to it you can't fake it girl you yeah. just have it or you don't <laughs> so that's one thing i've just always appreciated about like your content and everything it's... so how long have you been out in la now um, we've been on and off for like 10 years. Oh yeah, that's a solid yeah. amount of time. Yeah. I moved out here when I was 19 and then when my husband and I had our first child, we moved back to Chicago and then it was just so cold. I've never <laughs> visited, so cold. Oh my but God, you I, have to go. I know, I, love my, it. I need to go back with my mom so we can like properly yeah. see and go to Joliet and there? do that. Oh yeah, from Joliet. Yeah. Does she live out here now? Mm -hmm. okay. Palm Springs. Oh, nice. That's where I want to retire to. You should. Yeah. It's the best place to retire. Yeah. Like, they've made it so much cooler now. Yeah. When I was growing up, it was not. Like, I want to get a little dope. house over there. Like, you can now get the a time, house girl. and rent it out. My dad's in construction. If you need really? someone, okay. let me know. <laughs> plug, to, plug my dad. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> dad's link. Yeah, dad's, dad's website. link below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in with our new. Archbrow micro sculpting pencil. I love this pencil. It's so easy. Yeah. It makes such a difference. You don't need a lot of product. You already have such a great brow to work with. So I just do a little, a little, little, little fluffs bits. here and there. Yeah. I'm really just going to focus on your tail mostly. Just going back and forth. I kind of like stopped getting my eyebrows done. Same. Isn't that crazy? I would have never done that. But I was like, when I get them, when I get it waxed and tinted, it's just too much, you know. When you have a full brow, it's already like it's already, it's already a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like but, I just got them done for the first time in over six months, like a few weeks ago. I think I'm just gonna like get them done like twice a year. All right, yeah. let's try this wing out. Okay. I got this. I'm actually gonna have you just look directly out for me because okay. I just want to see where our shape is gonna go. Good about this. This is fun. It's a little bit of a subtle wing, but you can see the bits of glitter coming through. Check it. Yeah. Tell me how you feel. Oh yes, I love the brown. It's funny. I do a lot of colors, but I never do brown. But it really brings out my brown eyes. Yeah, it makes them like a little more honey vibes. Mm. I love go, it. Hmm. Good. <laughs> That's a good reaction. I'm obsessed with your lips too. I feel like a nude with some gloss. That's what I Call usually do. In. Okay. Like a little bit darker or more pink than my natural lip color okay can i can i curl them oh please curl them have you used our new curler of course <laughs> it actually replaced my my old one the shishado one Ooh. which was like my holy grail curler love to hear that girl this Just, is like i have to have eyelash curler yeah like i have to you know what i do i run about. it under warm water or like hot water okay. for a few seconds and it heats up the metal so then when you when you pro tip when you Coming curl in. your eyelashes it's like a it's like a I like yeah, a, it's a, a hot, hot iron, iron. <laughs> curling and it like really really lifts That's a it really like good crazy. trick. I'm just going to coat the bottom first. Yeah, curly lashes mm -hmm. on the bottom here. Lash curler really popped them up. Mm -hmm. Told you. Gosh, mascara is like a game changer. It's, yeah, it's, it's like kind of incredible. I think my two like makeup items for like Stranded on a desert island. Would be blush and mascara. Ooh, yeah. I love the blush one. I'm a blush girl. Sure. Oh, good. Cool, because we went a little popped on the blush today. This is my favorite color. This is the, which one is this? Eden. The Eden, yeah. This is the one I love. Okay, perfect. Then we're we're in the right lane here today. <laughs> <laughs> on the same page. Yes, thank God. That's that perfect little pout. 
And you had a little bit of the lip oil on before, mm -hmm. so it's giving it kind of a nice little base to work on top of. And then we'll go in with a little halo to finish the look. This has been one of my favorite glosses. It's almost like a white gloss, so you do get these little like specks of glitter kind of coming through. It's like holographic. Yeah. Right? In certain lights, it looks so cool. And the smell is everything. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's looking good. <laughs> you obviously all probably already follow her, but I'll link every way so you can follow her. Follow KNC Beauty. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.